time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to blank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour Live. Tuesday, January 23rd. Hope all is well in Zero DTE land. S&P oh, yeah. up 5. NASDAQ up 27. Russell down 3. Dow down 133. Gold and silver both green. Notes and bonds lower. 10-year yield up 1%. Oil off half percent. Natty gas up 1.5%. Grains a little bit green, euro and the pound a little bit red, Bitcoin off two and a half percent, and the VIX down three and a half percent, 12.74. Chad is here as well. Yep. So here's here's what I got going on. I see some questions already. So I only had one contract left of my lunchtime number one. My uh, AM number two was stopped out the last three contracts. So I just closed my one contract that I had left of lunchtime one at 290 just to get rid of it. Nice big profit and to open up the strikes at the money so that I could do power hour with not having to worry about overlapping strikes. So I got nothing on right now. And we'll look at like the 4860 straddle. Yeah, so premiums yeah. premiums pretty low. I'm not gonna yeah. do <clears throat> I'm not gonna do my normal power hour. I am I just put on a straddle. I heard, I heard that like 4855. That's part of my NTT tranching. So I'm just going to keep that. And then I've got one from earlier, which is the 5055. So this is my combined couple of positions on so i'm going to just ride with these and potentially put on one other during power hour but not trading my normal power hour tranches premiums are just a little low almost seven yeah i guess at the money 55s could be seven bucks but it would go inverted so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna do a little little discretionary trading um <clears throat> so here is my bots for the day, all winners. Overnight Aaron Condor booked 14%. My O2 double calendar, tiny winner. Uh, my 1DTE, actually that one's still open. <clears throat> my DKS hit 40%. Uh, half of my quiet lunch got stopped out for a profit of about 10%. The other half booked 40%. My other quiet lunch booked 50%, and then my one DTE is it currently at 40%, and that'll close out at 45%. And then I've done four of my uh, NTT trades today. First one booked 900. Hit 20% and then got stopped out for profit on the remaining. My second one booked 2,900, uh, got 20% and then stopped out for a big profit on the remaining piece. And then I have the two remaining on. One has hit 20% and one has not yet. So good day so far, good day. By the way, if you've just started trading, whether it's back test or the Chad style or any type of zero DTE the last couple of days. These have been monster days. So just don't 
scale up your position size based on the last couple of days because <laughs> price will move. Yeah. So I just got filled on my on that uh, 4860 straddle at 635. Yeah. So my my OCO is uh 635 20% profit. Remember the trailing stop is different. Trailing stop never is above four for me. So 510 is 20% profit, uh, trailing stop four. Yeah, I'll probably put on a 60 straddle if we push up a little bit more. Actually, I'd like to see a little bit of a pullback into the candle. We're kind of in a trending situation, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna hold off for at this point. We just broke through highs of day. Range has been about 15 points all day. Beautiful, beautiful zero DTE trading. And I am hovering my PL right before we got in here is basically a thousand dollars below my my uh, end of year. So I am almost officially out of my drawdown. Nice. Amazing what a few few good days in a row will do. Literally, like I think it was Tuesday or Wednesday of last week. I was at the peak of my drawdown. I think I, I think my account was down like 22%. Almost back to even. So I've got I've I have three I've done three trades today, which is a little lighter. Normally it's six total, but I guess I could maybe get two in for a power hour, but may not. So my AM number one was a $2,295 profit winner. AM two was $1,475 and lunchtime one, $2,195. So, by the way, Chad, if you have anything you want to show on your screen, just feel free to let me know. I can yep. stop sharing and let you pull up, sure. uh, take over. So barring a meltdown today should be another green day for me. SPX up to 4860. I chickened out on my Netflix call. I closed it. <laughs> <laughs> I made like 200 bucks and I was like, ah, I just love it. I'm about to get stopped out on one of my tranches that I've already reduced the stop on. If we go any higher, I'd get stopped. My one DTE hovering around 40% need another little bit of decay for that one. Sitting dead centered. I thought you were a couple of K away yesterday, Elliot. No, is that somebody else?
<clears throat> oh, a couple percent. Um, Chris, is there a way to alter the bot number of tries? I didn't, I didn't know there was a number of tries. I thought it was just a window of, in. I have my window in minutes. I used to have it at like two minutes and then I increased it to about four or five because there's an issue with delayed data from TD one day, but I didn't know there was a number of tries. I would tag, uh, tag Mr. Go Big Orange in the Trade Steward channel. After the maximum tries. Hmm. Yeah, I've not seen that. Okay, Dick K says it's time, so it must have tried during your window and not gotten filled. What's your window as far as time-wise? A couple minutes? Yeah, I would expand that a little bit. If there's a delay in the AP in TD's API getting it to Trade Steward, that's what I've experienced. And so um, I, I widen my time to about, I think I have my bots at like four or five minutes now. Or you can keep it at two. And then, you know, if, if you run into that, just manually fire it with the little launch now button. My 40, my 50, 55 position is still hanging on. Push it to a new high that would get stopped out. My 60 straddles, looking good. There we go. Get away from there. Get away from that stop. There's no way one is not dead. The other thing to remember, as I was when I was talking about, you know, if you've had a couple of good days and you're new. Also keep in mind, you know, yesterday and today, there was absolutely no news, no scheduled news. So that always helps. Um, you know, that's a lot of times why Monday is so good. Not only do you get the vol pump from over the weekend, but there's usually no scheduled news on Mondays. Uh, today, Tuesday, there's no, you know, there's the Richmond Manufacturing Index, but that's kind of a no, a no go for anything. Tomorrow, uh, 15 minutes after the market opens, we have Flash Manufacturing and Flash Services PMI, which could do a little something, but not not big news. Uh, Pre-market Thursday, advanced GDP and unemployment claims, and then Friday, pre-market core PCE price index. Fridays, I mean, of anything, that one will probably move the market's more than anything, but that's also pre-market. So, price coming back down to fifty-seven. Price is really kind of right where it opened today. Not far from it anyway. Trade Scout, are you on here? Let's 
So I, I put your trade up here just to watch. My concern with that is the in the last hour of the day, those one DTE options aren't going to decay enough, but to make it worth it. But I I put it up here just to just to watch it anyway. Because one one thing I was uh, testing and looking at last week was tranching with one DTE because my, my one DTE strategy has done really well, but the problem is you got to get it on early. And so trying to tranche into one DTE throughout the day, you know, if you're trying to put it on later in the day, you just don't get enough decay to make it worth the risk in my opinion. And so I'm just sticking with my early entry one DTE cause it's you know, if I, if I can get 40, 45% by the end of the day, that's pretty good. And it's typically short strikes are typically out at or outside the expected move. So we'd have to have a, a, a move outside the expectation outside of a one, one standard deviation move for it to get stopped. So, so for what I'm doing too, those of you doing what I'm doing, um, I will not put on a second power hour trade as long as those 4860s are at the money. It would take a, a move one way or the other to open up a potential second power hour trade. So I will just roll with this one as long as it's centered. Trying to push back up a little bit. My 50-55 is getting close to a stop out again. Twelve forty-seven. Yes, I got into that one at fifteen seventy-five and stopped out just now at fifteen sixty. So stopped for a small profit. Yeah, theta junkie. So I'll just put my uh, my uh, power hour one. You can kind of see I just posted it in the Discord. So it's sitting centered. So I'm not going to do a number two unless that price comes to one of those break evens. Or close to one of those break evens, and if it does that, then I will take a look and see what if a number two makes sense or not in terms of a uh, probably another straddle, depending on the premium. So, and I don't usually go inverted white tiger. I've done that before, but you know, it's just the risk and the little the profit that you would get compared to the risk isn't really good in terms of uh, when I first started trading and doing it this way, I, I would go inverted to get a second trade on, but yeah, you know, I'm three and zero right now and up about six grand. So I'm not going to mess with it inverted. I'll just roll with this one and add a second. If that price moves kind of like where I showed you with the screenshot that I put in discord. Chad, do you have a minimum premium that you take in power hour? Yeah, anything over five. Got to be over five still. Yep, still has to be over five. Russell and the Dow still slightly red. S&P and NASDAQ slightly green. 
I'll put this screenshot in the Discord of my Power Hour Profit Targets. I have this on one screen. And so I, now it's instead of doing calculation, I just glance at it and I just put that in. 20, 40, 60, 80. So profit targets for different premium. And then I don't have the trailing stops in there because remember they starts at four. So if you have a high premium and your 20% is, is uh, you know, if you've got a 720 fill and your premium or your 20% is 575, your trailing stops four. And even if 60, per, or, or I'm sorry, 40% profit target is above four. The second trailing stop is still four. So I, I, that's why I didn't include any trailing stops there. And then once it gets below four, it's just whatever that new profit target is. That's just power hour only. It's $4 fixed until it gets under four. Yeah, just for power hour. You know, if you got a 520 premium or fill, well, your 20% is 415 and your trailing stop is four. Your 40% then goes to 310 and a 310 trailing stop. 60%, 210, 210 trailing stop. If you ever it's find rocking. yourself putting it, if you ever find yourself putting in some, a trailing stop above four, you're doing it wrong for power hour. SPX up to 48.63. Yep, starting to move a little bit. So my last remaining NTT tranche is trading at 2140, stops at 2595. So gonna need a little pullback. So I'll put this in the Discord as well here. We'll screenshot. So you can see my where my straddle is. And so now it's kind of opened it up to where I, I, you know, if I choose to, if it moves up anymore, I can look at the 4865 straddle. But I, you know, I'm not going to overlap strikes. If I wasn't in any trade right now, I'd probably do the 4865, 4860s. But I'm not going to overlap the strikes. And that's just my personal preference. It's not to say you can't do it. Why not a 65 straddle? You could do that. Then that's what I would do over instead of overlapping, I would do the 65 straddle. So if it yeah, so it's kind of getting up there now. So I'm gonna keep a close look and see where this goes. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it like, let's see, there's two minutes left in this bar. So I'm gonna let this bar finish and then see where this price finishes. Because it could finish all the way back down. You know, if it finishes weak, and then I'll just sit tight. If it finishes strong, then I'll consider the 65 straddle. And I might give it one minute into the next bar. If it finishes up and it's looking like I could do a number two, I might give it the first minute or so to see, you know, is it going to pause there or is it going to continue to push? And honestly, that's just from so long of watching five minute bars. Sometimes you'll get them where they push out of the gates and sometimes they'll just sit there. So I'm going to go ahead and at least create the order for the fifth uh, 65 straddle, but I'm not going to place it yet until I see where this bar finishes.
All right, so it finished. So I'm going to see if this, I'm going to give it a minute, one minute, and see if this bar wants to push highs or whether it wants to just kind of pause. So right now I'm looking at the 4865 straddle with 20 point wings. You could go 20 or 30. A lot of times later in power hour you get, you get filled easier if they're tighter. And for me, using using NTT as my entry, you can see prices really, you know, obviously trending higher, which you don't need NTT to see that. But I would wait for it to come back and, you know, be in the inside the candles before I'm going to enter another tranche. And if it if that doesn't happen in the next 14 minutes, then I just won't. Okay, so I'm going to try to get filled on this trade. But if it keeps coming down, probably won't. Oh, there I got filled. 6.30. So now I want it to settle somewhere between 48.60 and 48.65. Uh, my financial juice is rocking. I've got the voice on, so I, it's been talking to me. Uh, actually, I haven't traded it during power hour, Krish. So I think those, I think an 80% stop is too big, but my last one that I put on a little bit before power hour, I, yeah, I've, I've still got an 80% stop. So I got filled at 630. So my 20% is $5 and five cents, but my trailing stop is four. Yeah, I just refreshed financial juice, getting the same error. Something, Something's down. And actually, now that I say that, Chris, I don't know if it's too big. I mean, I'm I'm getting it ratcheted down to forty percent as you know, once I hit twenty percent, so maybe fine. The idea won't be to the idea is not to be trading this during power hour under you know when we have decent premiums, but I like the idea of trading it if we have low premium premiums like we did today. Also, if if you're new here and and you're a little confused and you know you're thinking, okay, why okay, Chad got in at you know on the 65 straddle, but I didn't, you know, should I follow him? And you know, if I pick one or the other and that's a loser, I'm not gonna be happy, you know, that kind of thing. Just keep in mind, you know, and I talk about 
I talk about this a lot and I talked about it again in the little NTT mini course, but you know, the, the level that you trade at or the indicator you use that, that isn't the important thing. The important thing is that you have a process and that you manage your risk around that process. So, you know, it could have been a situation where I could have been great getting in, you know, to 4865 straddle, but that's not part of this. That's not part of the plan for this methodology. Hour hour is always the most stressful for me with what I do. I don't know why. Are your palms um, sweating, Chad? Well, I think it's just because the range is so much tighter, but I looked at my results. And so, you know, I didn't start keeping track of my results in terms of time of day. You know, everyone knows now, and if, if you don't because you're new, I, I break my mind down throughout the day into a.m. iron condor, lunchtime iron condor, power hour. And I didn't start keeping track of those time frames until January 5th. So it's really been, you know, I don't know, what was that, like eight or nine trading days? Um, but my power hour has been the best in terms of percent. So I'm sitting at, what I looked at it earlier today, um, 17 and three, 17 winners, three losers. So that's a high win percentage, but I don't know. They seem stressful because it oftentimes is when you can get your big movements. That VXX vertical is rocking. It's at about a little over 50% of max profit now. I've got seven contracts left, started with 20 on that. My time fly, still down about 400, but still in range here. Got one duck left that's in the area of taking it off for big profit, but it hasn't been on long enough to get enough decay. So I'm gonna I want to get 505 or less on that. Five bucks, 505, somewhere in there, but it looks like it's still trading at about five, probably five twenty or so, five fifty maybe. So I'll just hold that. I, mean, I couldn't imagine the 20 point wide power hours. Like, yeah, that's, oh, it's, it's a beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Oh man. <laughs> It'll come like, again. I can't wait for those days. <laughs> I mean, the straddles are definitely a little stressful at times. <laughs> long, long time ago. feels like a long, long ways away. You know, the, this morning's trades that I was, my 2 a.m. Meyer Condors, like that was why they were so great today. Like it was the price movement and they were, I think they were like 30 points wide or something. And it was great. I continue to be so encouraged by my by my results because I, you know I've every time I talk to someone I had a Zoom call with somebody today. Um, it, it just seems like they're only going to get better as things get more volatile. Yeah, once because, these premiums get juiced yeah. up, it's even better. So it's like if I'm doing really well in this environment over the last you know several weeks, 
got to be encouraged as volatility increases. All right, so price it's kind of like tranched three time and price is coming back down into uh into my candle so I may add a 60 straddle here. Sixty or sixty-five. Give it a minute. Yeah, financial juice is still down, so we may not get a market on close number today. All right, here's something that's uh you can learn from price movement. So what was it five? 15 minutes ago when it had that big push up, you know, pretty sizable push compared to the rest of the price movement today. So you remember me talking about that second straddle. So I waited until that bar closed. If I entered it in, if I entered that straddle in at the very top, okay, now it's, it's come back down since then. So I waited till it stopped. And then I waited a couple minutes into the next bar to see what that would do. Once I realized, okay, it's not going to push above it. It's not going to collapse. So essentially, I entered about halfway through that big push. But if I would have gotten in at the very top, you can see what now it would be off-centered. But now it's it's still okay. Theta, I'll, I'll let them... Um, Expire if I'm not in a straddle, typically, if there's, you know, a 10-point range or something. But straddles, I like to try to get them closed if I can. At least, you know, if I have one or two contracts, maybe not left, you know, if, but um, straddles can be, it can move quick the last five or 10 minutes. I like to try to get out of them by 245 Central if I can. 250 for sure. Uh, let's see. Dataless. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but my power hour stop loss starts at four. And then once the profit target gets below four, so maybe I'm going at 40% profit target or 60, then it just becomes 100% of that. So, you know, if I my 20% I'm filled at 510. And then I'm going to 40% profit. I'll put it in an order. Let's say it's uh, 410. My stop loss will still be four. But if it gets to where it's below four, the profit target, you know, let's say it's three bucks, then my stop loss is three bucks. So that's how I reduce the risk of the power hour trades. All right, price came da back down into the candle, so I'm gonna I'm gonna trade a sixty straddle. Yeah, can trailing stop. That's correct. Sixty straddle filled it. 
1310. Yeah, Cosmo, I'm using the same thing, 80%, and then I'll ratchet down to 40 if I hit 20%. I mentioned before, I, you know, my intent is not to trade this way during power hour. If we get decent premiums, I'll go back to my normal way, but if it's low like this, I'll just trade it the same way. So if this isn't a little pullback before another rip. My one DTE sitting at 39%. That one needs a little pullback to hit 45% as well. Twenty eight minutes to go. Not sure about the early indication. Oh, financial juice is back up. Early indication fifty two million sell side. <clears throat> side. I need about a one point five billion sell side. Push this thing down a little bit. Oh, just it just rolled over. Moving a little quicker now. I'm getting close to hitting 20% of my power hour number one. Got an order at 510. It's currently at 520. Nice, Frank. The 20% is so critical because you really can't have a a loss if you hit your 20%. That's the beauty of it. My power hour two got an order at 505. It's currently trading at six bucks. I'm on theta. I'm on theta. Team theta. Let's go. Everybody's best friend when it's going down. Technically going up. Good. Glad you like it, Bumblebee. Yeah, it's, it's easier for me, too, because I'm not having to type answers when I'm also trying to trade. Sharky, my most, if you're talking to me, my most recent one was a 60 straddle. I had a 55 straddle on from earlier. I 
I should be hitting profit target number one here at 20%. It's below 510. There we go. Filled at 510. Our hour number one. So my 40% then if you look at the chart so I got filled at 635 so I go to the 635 and 380 is my 40% so 380 is also my trailing stop And I have five, I did 10 contracts. So I'm, I got five left. So I'm going to get rid of another two contracts if I can hit 40%. Anybody in the one DTE with me? Mauro, are you doing that one today? It's at 43%. A little bit more decay. That one should hit. Decay, fish, cool. Yeah, I do too. It's nice and wide. Uh, there's, I don't have a course on it, Bumblebee, but it's in the trade plan. So you'll see the uh, option Omega link with all the criteria that I use. So my 55 straddles trading at 1420, my 20% is at 1275. So that one needs a little bit more down move. My 60 straddle is trading at 1165 and my 20% is 1045. So I need another buck out of that one. I've got my uh, 65 straddle that it's trading about where I got filled at, but it's kind of testing that that downside. So I could use a little bump up on the my 65 straddle to fill 20. If I fill 20%, I could it just takes all the pressure off. Also, so people ask, when would you when would you put in a third tranche or a third power hour trade? So I'm probably not putting in one unless I get a third one, unless one of these would have gotten stopped out by now. So, you know, there's 20 minutes left. I would never put a third one on with 20 minutes left, but let's say my first one got stopped out 20 minutes ago. Okay. Then I, that's when I would look at to maybe adding a third is when one is completely off. That happens sometimes. First one gets stopped out. Okay. I've added a second. Price has moved again. I had a third, but only two on at the same time. So I hope that makes sense. Trade Scout, your trade's coming back into the profit a little bit. Looks like was uh, you were taking some heat there for a little bit. Are we not entertaining enough for you, Elliot? Is that what you're saying? Oh, no positions. All right. I'll let it go then. All right. Hit my 20% on my... Let's see. That was on my 55 straddle.
So ratcheting down my stop on my 55 straddle. Wouldn't mind just hanging out here the rest of the day. I need just a little bump up and then it can come back down because I, again, if I could fill that 20% profit on my number two, then that's guaranteed a scratch trade or small winner. Yeah, so um dataless, dataless. So if I'm if I'm in for 10 contracts, I'll do like five, two, two, one for power hour. If I'm in for six, like in the morning where buying power is more, it's like you know, I start with six and then three, two, one. Or three, one, 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 20, 40, 60, 80. 10, I go five, two, two, one. Eight, I go four, two, one, one. And all that will be in my presentation as well. Say 20% on my 60 straddle. I'm getting close to 20% on that number two, which is key for me. I will guarantee no big losers today. I just locked in all winners. Nice. It's always, that always feels good. Yeah, I went over Chad's uh, slides today just to give him some feedback. And so we're just uh, trying to coordinate a date here. It'll be pretty soon. Oh, Chad responded. All right, February 8th it is, my friends. February 8th after the market closes, so like 30 minutes after the after the market closes. I'll I'll post something about it, but... The big thing that prevented me from doing it sooner is at three o'clock, I when the market closes, I gotta typically take off to go get my boys at their bus stop, either that or they can walk to their moms. But um but don't worry, we got it scheduled now. All right. I should be hitting that uh number two, and then it can just stop where it's at or come down a little bit. India. Wow. What's in India? That's where Chris is from. Oh, really? I didn't know that. All right, Michael, 20%. Boom. You going to trade from there, Chris, or you take the month off? Atta boy, I knew you couldn't hold out. What's the hour difference? Let's see. You guys didn't like my Fred Flintstone gif earlier? Still 52 million to the sell side on the early indication. The final one comes out in five minutes. Okay, I should be getting filled here. 
Hold on, little buddies. Don't go any further. $5.05 is my fill, and it's under that. Come on. Hit it. Nice, Chris. There we go. Filled it 480. That's nuts. So just locked in all green today. Love it. So my Power 55 two. is going to get stopped out if we go much higher after I reduce my stop here. One DTE still sitting at 40%. Didn't quite get up to 50. It needs a little pullback as well. So my 40% target for my number two is $3.80. So that's what the trailing stop will be. There's a nice little drop. So I will close two more of my contracts after getting rid of five at 380. Back down to 60. No, oh, that was 480. I got filled. Not 380. So looks like did anybody trade normal power hour? Looks like it had that one push. It probably would have stayed safe. So normal power hour probably would have done fine so far. Yeah, I guess we've only got 12 minutes left. Man, may hit a pinhead here, though. Forty percent hit on power hour number one. Man, I don't know. Maybe I should just try for pinheads here. <laughs> 680 million buy side for the final market on close. So it flipped, but still a pretty small number.
So I may get stopped out on my 55 if it pushes up. Yep. Stopped on my 55 for a profit. So I booked net of 430 on that one. <clears throat> oh, getting a little bouncy. Getting a little bouncy here. Yeah, we are. Jeez. Okay. Just got filled on 40% of number two. So on my last 60 straddle, I'm going to put my limit at, uh, I'll put it at three bucks, but I'll probably adjust it. I'll get out about five minutes till it's currently trading at nine bucks. So it's going to need to come back down to center to have a shot. My one DTE still sitting at 40%. That one needs a little bit of a pullback. Otherwise, that'll close out a few minutes before the bell. Wow, today's going to be a big day. Sixty percent on number one. Yeah, <laughs> that's beautiful. Did you close it or did you leave one open, Michael? Nice. That's right. Come on down to 60. What's your sweet spot, Chad? Well, I've got a 60 and a 65 straddle. Okay, so you're right there. You're You're in your sweet spot right here. Yeah, I'd, I'd take four eight four eight six two. It might be a five figure day. Nice, Michael. It's pushing, getting close to my exit time here. And I got stopped out for a profit anyway. All right, so I'm out of my NTT tranches. So how many of those did you do today? 975. Um... So that was my one, two, three, four, five. So on my NTTs, I booked 
900 on one, 2,900 on one, 345 on one, 430 on one, and 935 on one. Those are just three lots, three nice. lot trades. My number one got stopped out at 390. So nice winner. And 60% on number two. Well, it's still it's still in the ball game. Still pushing. My one DTE should be closing about right now. Here it comes. Oh, Michael, sixty two hundred. Nice, Michael. All right, my one DTE got filled at eight eighty. Uh, so I got one contract left. It's the 65 would be the pinhead. So my final tally for the day on my bot trades, a little over 9,000 and then another 4,000 ish on my NTT. Good day, kids. Good day. Three minutes till the bell. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sitting at a pinhead at six if it's at sixty five. So, Got nice white nine, nine of ten contracts. Nice theta. I like seeing the paper trade. <laughs> Had a boy, Dick. Love Jeez, it. Dick K. This is an animal. That's a that's a low day for Dick K. <laughs> Where is he at? Like uh, some island somewhere? Dick K, he's got houses in a lot of different places, Chad. Does he? Ah, the Cybertruck's on the way. Awesome. Nice. You know, something I want to get eventually is a 69 Camaro. It's a bucket list purchase. It's what I had when I was in high school and I sold it. Wish I never would have sold it. Am I going to get a pinhead here? Minute and a half. I do have a I do have an order at 50 cents to get out of my last contract. <laughs> and a dollar 55 is my trailing stop. What's it trading at now? Probably about a three buck bucks. 15, buck 15. Did you get beast mode, Dick K? Or is, or is the founder edition? Is that the is that the edition? Is that the model? Thirty seconds. Are you right there, Chad? I know. <laughs> It's 65 cents. I don't know <laughs> if my 50 cents will get filled. A little markup into the close. Oh, there you go. Very nice. <laughs> Your 50 cents didn't get, did not get filled. No. So it's, so 65 cents is where it ended. 62. Uh, yeah, it's roughly 60 cents. So it'll settle at yeah, well, what's that? 40 cents. So yeah, it'll settle basically like you got filled at 40 cents. Okay. 
Because so, because the market closed at forty eight sixty four and sixty cents. Okay, so my day. Yeah, Wuga, how'd the uh, how'd the ten wide no stop go? I guess probably depending on when you got in. Could have could have pinned. Okay, so five trades, all winners. Nice, naughty dog. Nice. Here we go. 10,670. Very nice. All right, all. Uh, let's see. Live stream tomorrow. Tomorrow is the 24th. So Chad will be streaming live in the morning with the Mighty 90 and Runners. And then we'll be back for Power Hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good see night. Tomorrow. Talk Peace. Soon.